The beach is the perfect place to soak up the sun and go for a swim. But there are safety concerns when it comes to rip currents. What exactly is a rip current and how do we know it when we see it? A rip currents, they're actually fast channels of water that extend from close to the shoreline and they go right through the surf and past the breaking waves. The National Weather Service puts out a rip current risk forecast every day, taking into account wave patterns, ocean swells, wind speed, wind direction, and location. Right along the shoreline where you have jetties and, and, rock, and rocky areas, those tend to produce stronger channels, stronger rip currents. It's not easy to see unless you're elevated. Lifeguards are positioned high enough to be able to spot those breaks in the waves that sometimes result in white caps, an indication of a rip current. According to the United States Life Saving Association, rip currents account for 80% of beach rescues. We've been dealing with rip currents uh, forever and it's nothing new to us. And with COVID-19 still very much a concern, lifeguards are faced with so many challenges, including possibly having to make these rescues at a safe distance. We might be a little bit more cautious to prevent water rescues from happening. So we might blow you in a little bit closer. We might prevent you from going in a little bit further. We would launch the board, jump on as the lifeguard, paddle out to our victim. As we got closer to that, as we got closer to that victim, if you were the victim, I'd slide off. I'd tell you to grab right onto the nose. I'd pretty much paddle right to you, almost as if I were to ram you in the chest so you'd have something to grab on immediately. From there, the swimmer is able to grab onto the handles. Not only does the board act as a flotation device, it also helps to maintain social distance. If you get caught in a rip current, stay calm. Fighting it will only get you tired. It won't pull you under, but it does have the power to pull you away from shore. Wave and shout to get the lifeguard's attention. Float. Also, swim parallel to the shore until you break free from the current. The waves will guide you back to land. If you see someone in trouble, don't attempt the rescue yourself. You can throw a flotation device and call for help. So before heading into the ocean, know before you go. That means check your local forecast, always swim near lifeguards, and look out for warning flags. I'm meteorologist Stacey Ann Gooden, PIX11 News.